Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. Okay, got a letter that came in to customer service. And it's from Dave. And Dave says, I am almost 75, I'm an almost 75 year old golfer and have been doing the PPGS for six or seven years now. I don't play as much as I used to, but adapting your swing, adopting your swing mechanics has let me be comfortable on the course when I do play. And I'm confident the ball will go pretty much where I want it to. Certainly not as many errant shots. Even with your excellent videos and dailies, I still struggle with making a proper weight transfer coming out of, out of the stable setup. While I am still fairly flexible and have to think about staying out of the sacred burial ground, I still tense up during the through swing and lose power. I'm sure that this is something most amateurs struggle with as well. I'd be interested in what you think about the following drill. It seems to me that if you adjust the limited turn and the pop tart, it might be a keeper. Don, thanks for all you have done for us. And he has a, he has a big long, almost goes across the whole page of a web address to go to. I clicked on it and went and saw it. And I think the, 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 uh, it has some pretty good points to it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to talk about the drill first since that's, that's the whole basic concept of, of his letter to begin with. And then I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Dave some, con some thoughts about where his problems probably lie and what's happening. Now the drill was one that a golf pro did and he said, this is to help you sync up your arms and your body into what we call the timing sequence, okay? Or, the, or, the, or some people call it the kinematic chain. And as we know, the true definition of the kinematic chain is that everything starts from the ground up. All right, so this pro stood here and he said, I want you to place the club on your hips, hold the club over here, and, and your hand over here. And then I want you to swing like this, okay? And you see what he's doing? He, all he's doing is turning, but he's trying to get you to feel like, like your, whole, your whole right side, once you, turn, once you start from here, the move into the ball is your whole right side is going down there. Then he says, eventually, he wants you to take your right hand and put it above the club here and keep, your, keep the club like here and now you do it with your right hand being more free to come along and stay with the club. And he says then at some point after you come with that, then you finally do a couple, when you feel like you got a time, then you do that and you swing to the finish. All right? And you get the feeling of the arms exploding through the finish. Well, that sounds good. But as you see, what is this swing? It's rotational. All right? It's rotational. And the other thing that's, that I think is, is not quite correct is when do we really start accelerating the club? Once we, once we ring the bell and bump, I'm already, I'm, we got what? We call swing up to the finish. Our arms are already exploding through the ball and up to the finish. So we're swinging from there all the way up to there, not at the ball. So the, I think it's a pretty good drill in some regards, but you need to do it where you bump first and then rotate bump and then rotate and you see that your arms, if you just let your arm come up here and put your arm up here all the way to the top and just do this and move your body like this, just let your arm go, you're going to see that that it's being pulled and it's going to, and just dropping is going to accelerate it. Never mind you putting your energy into doing it. All right. So let me look at where I think Dave's problem probably is and I think he gives it away in something he says. While I'm still fairly, fairly flexible and have to think about staying out of sacred barrel ground, he's turning too much. So what's the problem there? If he has a tendency to still turn too much, when he gets deep into the sacred burial ground, deep in here too far, I'll do it more this way, when he gets it deep into here and he comes, tries to pull straight down as we're talking about, you know, pull the bell straight down, where's he pulling? He's pulling out towards right field. All right, so why does he have to slow down? He's got to grab the club and start slowing it down so he can slow his arms down to let the club head catch up because his body, as soon as he turned, his body was slightly ahead of the target, very likely. So that's where Dave is getting into big trouble, I think, without a doubt. I think about staying on a sacred barrel ground. I still tense up during the, fall, the through swing and lose power. I'm sure that this is something most amateurs struggle with. Yes, another big problem that could be causing that is the number one thing I usually always talk about, the big A. Because even if, even if you're taking a perfect, perfect turn just right over the toe line and you're aimed out to the right field, instead of being aimed here parallel left where my arms will swing to the target, I'm aimed out over there, what do I got to do? I have to spin my hip out instead of bumping and then as I'm pulling over the top, I'm going to be tightening up trying to make sure the club's going to go at the target. So that would, his problem would be even more magnified if he also was aiming to the right. So 
I think that anytime you feel your arms having to tighten up near impact, that means you're not on the right path. The right, uh, you're definitely not on the right path. Or your sequencing is out. And in this case, I think it's a combination of both with Dave. All right? So that's why it's in the mitt and up the tree. Remember, once you get, once you turn and you get, your hands get over your toe line, it's, it's no more tearing or it's all lift. There's no turning all the way to the top because if you do, you're going to be deep in the sacred barrel ground. Okay? The turn ends when you get to the toe line. In the mitt, once you hit the toe line, it's all up the tree. All right? So Dave, that's your answer, I think, before anything else. And I've, you've already heard my thoughts about that drill. Okay? Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.